Okay, I'm going to make some uh, Italian layered meatloaf. It's got, this is some Asiago cheese. It's going to have a pasta cheese sauce. I need to get some water boiling over there. But first I'm going to I'm gonna do the pan. I'm going to layer it with bacon and some bay leaf here in the bottom. Here's the bay leaf. All right, I'm going to get the pan. I got in the freezer getting it cold. Melted butter. We'll paint the pan. And I'll show you what it looks like here in just a minute. All right, we'll be back. Uh, okay, it's so like I said, this is a, a layered Italian meatloaf. It's got three or four recipes has three, but I've got one little one, three big, and I like to put four. I like bay leaves. It gives it good flavor. I'm going to land line this, this chill pan with bacon. All right, we'll see what that looks like, and we'll be back. Okay, this is it. You line the pan, alternating back and forth from thick side, thick side to thin side. And then what you trim off from the ends, you put here and here. And I'm going to stick this back in the refrigerator and let it chill because these things, they come unstuck. But they, all of this will chill back up. And I'm going to make the ground beef. You got the water burning for the facility. And uh, we're going to be back. All right. Bye. Okay, I got the fusilli, which is the pasta. It's going to cook, it's going to cook about 12, 14 minutes. I'm going to cook it 10 or 9 or 10 minutes. Going to make a blonde roux here with this all-purpose flour. Cheese, milk, uh, Reggiano, Parmigiano, uh, heavy cream. Anyway, we're going to make a roux. This is boiling up pretty good here. I can turn this down a little bit. So now we can crank this up a little. Put in some flour, make a roux, make a gravy, put in the cheese. All right, we'll be back. Okay, got to get some whole milk here and gently pour that in there. And we're going to bring it back up. Y'all seen me make these before. Now this, this old, with all that flour in there, it's tightened back up. So I'm going to sit here and cook it a little bit and I'll be back. And then we're going to put in some heavy cream. We're going to put in some nutmeg too. That's the secret ingredient is nutmeg. All right. I only got one hand. I'll be okay. I've added about a cup of whole milk, three or four or five tablespoons of that heavy cream. See this gravy and the nutmeg, the salt and the pepper, and now I got the Asiago cheese and the Parmigiano Reggiano. All right, I turned the heat off here, so I'm gonna mix this up, finish up this pasta, mix it all together with this cheese sauce. It's gonna be great. All right, we'll be back. You know, this is an Alfredo sauce. Anybody knows a friend of mine named Adam? Tell him to watch this video. Because <laughs> this is the best. This is the best Alfredo sauce ever. I'm telling you. It's absolutely freaking delicious. Mm, look at that. Mm. Oh, my gosh. God, we should get tasty. It's great. All right. We'll be back. I don't know, sometimes this thing just shuts off. Come on, folks, it's on a $75 camera. What can I say? Anyway, we're going to get this till it's tender. Throw in the garlic. We've got the heat back up to medium. And then we're going to do mix it into the meat with the breadcrumbs, and lemon juice, and all that stuff. And this, this herbs here. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I've added the garlic. And it's, I've turned the heat off on this. It only takes a few minutes, like a total of three minutes that... From the time you put in the onion and the red pepper, get it translucent, a little bit of juice, throw in the garlic so the garlic don't burn, stays sweet. Huh. Only got 15 minutes. All right. Now we're going to mix up the meat. I'll be back. Okay, I put in the salt, the pepper, the veggies, the 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 herbs, the breadcrumbs. This is a pan cap, panko, pan pow, however you say it, Japanese. So now I'm gonna mix this up with my hands till it's a it's a, it's a congealed goo. That's what that's what the Italians do. Anyway, all right, we'll be back. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this mess. I I will clean it up. All right, I took half of that meat mixture. And I really got that stuff incorporated there. Half of that meat mixture is in this loaf pan. I'm gonna cover it with a uh, inches, two inches of this this uh, fusilli with that cheese sauce. Put the rest of that meat on there and stick it in this this oven at 325 for about one hour, one hour and ten minutes. And uh, I'll show you the rest of it when it's done. All right, we'll be back. Okay, now I got the pasta cheese on there. I'm gonna put the rest of this on there, cover it in foil, and then we're gonna bake it for an hour, hour and ten minutes. All right. It, it, I, it, from start to finish, this is only taking about an hour to do. It's, this is this is a great recipe. You'll love it. You eat on it for two days. Well, just two of us can. Whole family eat the whole thing one night. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. 
<laughs> okay, I've got it sealed. you got to push it all up under the limbs there, the, the rims, and seal this thing tight. Hour, hour and ten minutes, we'll be back. I'm going to clean up this, this mess, which I always do. It's, it's always wrecked when I... A little bit of that cheese left over. Mmm. Adam, dude, I'm sorry, you need to taste that, man. You need to make it. Have, have someone you know make it. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, this is this is how it looks when you pull, pull the, the top off of it. Let's see here, turn down some lights here. Dang, it, it's, I wish I had better lights, but anyway, this thing is absolutely wonderful looking. Yes, it is. It's a little washed out because of the lights, but I'm telling you, all right, I'm going to put it back in the oven there and let it rest for about 20 minutes, and it's going to be ready to eat. I'll make a salad. All right. Whoop. Okay. I want you to look at that. There you go. That is that is the most beautifulest meatloaf. Look at that. Woohoo! All right. We're going to go pray. Thank the Lord for everything He gives us, and then we're going to eat. All right. We got a salad to go with, too. I didn't show the salad. Uh, this ends this. Good night. Y'all have a good day. Bye.